Hey, Hello. everybody. Hey. Welcome to Sunday Night's Juggle is Real series here. Yes, it's the juggle is real. Just so true. <laughs> there was a huge Mario Kart fight before I came on, and then <laughs> now we're all in bed. <laughs> I forgot to ask you who won. Well, we did teams first. It was parents against kids, and of course, Annie and I won. I won a few, and then then it, and then it was we mixed teams, and it was just a disaster after that. So now they're in bed, brushing teeth, so happy. Nice. Yeah. And here we are. So hi, everybody, if you're there. Uh, I hope you're having a fabulous Sunday. I'm sure you're getting ready for next week. Um, if you have kids in elementary school, gosh, what do we have? Like, FSA. So you have FSA next week? Yeah. Oh, I just finished. Okay. Um, so fifth grade FSA next week. G has math, I think. Okay. And then Nathan has, he has one also. Okay. Well, so. oh, let it end. Yeah, so we have like what, like five, six weeks left of school. Nothing. I know it's that's what's so scary about it. When we're like, done with this, we're done. Like it's May and it's Mother's Day stuff. Thank God, Mother's Day. Exactly. We're gonna celebrate all month long. Anyway, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, so grab your glass of wine and come join us tonight because we are talking about. Whoa, that like really, that was like fun. I don't have mine. I forgot it. Um, Do you want to forget it? Carry on. Like what you're going to bring on the plane hacks. We talked about it on the road last week. We're trying to share because everybody's planning trips for the summer and traveling. And we know how it can be difficult trying to get that list together of, um, you know, what you need for the plane. So we have a few hacks. And if you have some, we'd love for you to share them. Exactly. Let us know if we're echoing. Yes. I hear me echoing. Echo, echo, echo. Um, you know, it's hard enough to pack the luggage, but you really do have to be mindful of what you pack in your carry-on because whether it's two hours or five hours that you're on that plane or you're waiting in the airport, um, it gets to be very expensive if you're waiting in the airport and you forget things or your kids don't have things. I've done that before. Um, so it's really good to try to be as prepared as you can. Uh huh. Well, remember when you could bring food and water and all this stuff that cut That's down on such a cost. Right. Now it's like the minute you hit the place, it's like, I'm starving. I'm starving. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like shelling out 50 bucks before you even get on the plane. And it's gross. Exactly. And Most you're like, I'm sorry, but that's not really going to work. <laughs> exactly. But we end up doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know if you're there. I think we have a few people coming on. Eric is on. Hi, Eric. And uh, somebody else. Um, yes, yeah, so we are talking about our hacks tonight, and we have a few. I think Dana's got the first one to share. Yes. Um, so what we're going to – I originally started noting what um, – things I carried in my, what I packed in my carry-on luggage when I went on my first overseas trip because you never know what's going to be on the other end. And I was on a very long flight. I was on multiple legs of flights and I was on a very long flight. So I kind of wanted to make sure that I had everything I wanted. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a creature of habit. So I have a tendency of, um, I don't know, I need like my things, you know? So one of the biggest things is Whenever you're on an airplane, besides the fact that it's like the disgusting recirculated air, yeah, your, your skin has a tendency of getting really dry. So one of my favorite things that I pack are um, lip balms. And I even got my kids into doing it too. They have their own little lip balm, but I carry lip balm. So my, two of my favorites are Carmex and then there's also EOS. And we'll post links to the different products below um, after the show in case you're interested in starting your own little like carry on travel to beat left bag or something. But um, it's kind of, it's really important um, to keep yourself hydrated. And I know they say don't drink wine or alcohol when you're on a plane, that's not happening. So, like, I counteract that with extra water. 
<laughs> is that terrible? That's I, want, right. I want a glass of wine. I'm, I'm flying for 12 hours to Hong Kong. Guess what? I'm having a few glasses of wine, but counteract it with re-moisturizing everything. And that's why, hence the, um, the chapstick and like the lip balm. Um, so that is first and foremost. Moisturization. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Moisturizing is key. Yes, yeah. moisturizing. It is very drying on the fly. Oh my gosh. Oh, true. It's so bad. So, um, if you have like a favorite hand cream or lip balm, you know, note it below. I'm always into trying new products. Um, next on the list. I guess goes along with the lip balm is the hand cream. Oh yeah. Do you have a favorite hand cream? Well, I do like the new hand MD <laughs> actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it dries in. If the problem is it's big. I don't, you couldn't bring it on the plane. I don't know if they'd let you. Oh yeah. Like that, that's large that you might have to pack in your carry on, but Oh my gosh, where is it? Seriously? I would say I don't bring hand cream on. I'd have to say that. What? Okay. So no. I am going to get you a little tube. It's called Loki Lokitan. They have it there in the mall and stuff. Oh yeah. They have, have a hand cream, cream that's for gardeners. I haven't traveled as much as you have lately. But even just to put it in your purse, it's it's for gardeners and I'm like the last person to garden. But <laughs> it's really moisturizing. It's not greasy. So I always keep like a little tube of it. Ah, okay. I'll add that in the comments below, but that is great. Also, um, I'm trying to think of what else there is. What other hand creams are really good? Um, yeah, because it's gotta be small, right? Yeah, yeah. Ahava is another really good one. Oh, hey, Joanna. Oh, Adam's on, Chef Adam is on. Cetaphil, Joanna said Cetaphil is another good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, as my health coach, wine is okay for me to have on the flight. <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> you never know. You need it. Oh, Denise is on too. Hey, guys. Yeah, you need the hand cream. You need the lip balm. And the water. So this is like the personal stuff for yourself. Yeah, I like that Evian spray, actually. That is huge. That's really huge. It's like an Evian, like Mr. And it's in the cosmetics departments, like at Nordstrom or wherever. Do That's you know who was mentioning that as putting it on before you put moisturizer on? Christopher. Oh, yeah. He was saying spritz. Mm -hmm. dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Oh, my God. I feel like I need wine with you. All right. Go get a glass of wine. I'll talk to the people. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know. All right. I have to be fast. Let me think. Okay. Do you have another thing to talk about? Yes. I will. I will continue down the uh, must haves. Okay. So we said lip balm, we said hand cream, face moisturizer, or facial spray. Um, I have seen people, I've not personally done it myself because I think uh, people look a little bit crazy, but do you ever see those like paper masks, like the facial masks? That was fast. The charcoal. I know it's conundrum rosé. Nice. Uh, are you drinking the, with, out of the bottle? Is there a glass? No. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have some class tonight. No, I drink it out of a. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but so. Um, holy cannoli! I just totally lost my train of thought. So the facial spray, the facial moisturizer. Oh, the mask. The mask. The mask. The masks. So yeah. you know those like single use masks. I've actually seen people, and even on the two hour flights to New York, put one of those masks on. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ooh. where are you going? Who's to judge? Hey, Rafaela gave us some Shea Butter Intensive Hand Balm. Ooh. Who's that from? So, oh, La, how do you say it? La Ossetine. Lokitan? Oh, that's how you say it? That's how I say it. No kidding. <laughs> like, uh, I'm trying to think of the other name. Yeah, that looks good. Ooh, that's probably really intense. Rafaela just shared that. That is awesome. Oh, Erica said you can bring food on, by the way, just no liquids. Back to our other thing. Yeah, let's go back to that in a little bit. I'm going to tell my power story when it came to formula, like whatever. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. We'll talk, we're talking about ourselves right now, what we're to bring on for ourselves. Right. Maybe an extra shirt if you're breastfeeding 
or you have a baby. I've done that before in a Ziploc bag. I like backup. Yeah. I always bring a, so I get car, I get plane sick. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> yeah, I, 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 well, actually I've thrown it before, but um, <laughs> have you done it in those little white bags? Pregnant. I was pregnant. Oh my God. This was so stellar. I can't even tell you five months <laughs> pregnant, landing in Ireland in the middle seat of five seats. Literally. I was like, I'm going to lose it. I did this little, like, uh, it was the weirdest thing. I looked over my husband. I was like, I just threw up. And he was like, you did. And I was like, it's, I can't even believe it, it was the quietest vomit I've ever done in my life. We landed and I was like, boom, yo, I did it. Baby. Yeah. Pregnant. Yeah. I do not like to vomit. And I'd already been had made more. Do you talk about this? No. Yeah. I played me some golf too at five, five months. I wasn't oh, that no, big. I I, um, it was my first one. I wasn't as big. I'd thrown up so much the first trimester, but that's neither here nor there. We'll be losing people here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> really Anyways, nice. I would say like an extra, I always bring, so I layer. Uh -huh. layer because I swear to you they like turn the air off in South Florida in the summer when you're flying and then they take off and it's like it doesn't seem to cool off in the plane until mm -hmm. you've hit turbulence and there's like a you know a storm or something and I'm like I'm gonna lose it so and then all of a sudden it's freezing because I want to crank it and then I've got like a jacket or a I wear my athleisure wear when I travel. So you gotta be comfortable, especially when you're toting the kids back and forth to the bathroom five times. Yeah, you got the leggings, the t-shirt, and then a little like a hoodie jacket. You're good to go. Yep. Yeah. So what else for what else for ourselves? So we have the gum hand. and candy for both of, for everyone. So I will tell you. Let's talk about lollipops. Okay. So when they turn about three or four, if they're mature enough. I had the Dum Dums, which were probably full of like whatever. Now they have different ones, like you know the non dye uh, lollipops. But I will tell you, I had a baggie, and I just kept feeding them until we landed. Like whatever. Now they have different ones, like you know. Oh, I can hear myself. Oh no, sorry, because it turned on on the other screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like a, there's like a three-hour flight. We used to go to Rhode Island. There's like a three-hour flight, and I just sat there and something to suck on. And then their ears, I've never had a problem. Like, and then they just kind of kept them. And then I had the iPad. I was like, whatever. Mm -hmm. And myself too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And I, I don't know if it's like how my kids are, but I need to have like sweet and savory. Or maybe that's me. Why? They need to have chocolate. Oh, and they need really? to have like something sweet. And then they need to have something salty. I need to have something. I don't know. I blame it on them. But we always pack a little bit of everything. So when they're like, if I want something, I want something with chocolate here. I want that here, you know? Yeah. Um, when you're on a plane, do you read? How do you read with your kids? I ignore no, I was gonna say I ignore them. No, but they're older. They're older. Yeah, you sit on the you sit on the uh so it's four of you and then you get the aisle seat on the other side. That's what we like. <laughs> No, that's, I'm always the one. The that whole like, who's gonna get the aisle seat this time? And I'm like, you're in charge. And it's like, now when I sit there, they're fine, but there's always a spilt glass of something. <laughs> Somebody always spills something. <laughs> the ginger ale, you know, the sprite, the whatever yeah, that you have. Yeah. No, yeah. but I love to read when I'm on the plane because the boys now with the TVs and the headphones and like all that yeah. stuff, I kind of. When we're up in the air, that electronics time doesn't really count. So I, and I'm a, an avid reader, so I either bring my Kindle or a book or my husband makes fun of me, but I love magazines. So I have like 20 pounds of magazines that I haven't read because I haven't had time at home. Yeah, well, I would love that. I, for some reason, get my best thoughts. Like the juices start flowing and I usually, I've had my laptop when it was for summer and I've just been like, Oh my God, Oh my God, I better write this down. And sometimes I'll start writing word documents for post ideas that I have that are maybe like, actually I started writing one bashing an airline cause it was so horrific and I never sent it cause it was so bad. I was so heated and it was kind of like journaling. I was like, Oh my God, there's no leg room. Oh my God. Like the, you know, the flight attendants are so rude. Like that's the worst. It was one of those flights and we hadn't, I hadn't experienced that in a while, but, um, 
Yeah. Um, but one good thing about bringing magazines on is when you're done reading them, of course, you rip off your address because you don't want to yeah. give them to the flight attendants because they are so appreciative. Oh, that's nice. I, I'm like, hey, do you want to read this or whatever? You know, like, and they're so appreciative of it. And you might get a glass of wine out of it. Ooh, that's smart. Totally. No, but I do it because it's like they're sitting there, you know? I mean, they're helping us, but. Um, yes. Anybody else have anything? So she had her hand cream. What else for ourselves? And then before we get to the kids. Um, oh, another thing. thing. Yeah. Prescription medication. And this is for the whole family, actually. Whenever you're flying. I never thought about that. Case in point, my husband. Put your prescription medication in your carry-on bag. Because what if your luggage doesn't get there? Oh, by the way, did I tell you that, that his luggage got to our house at 5 o'clock yesterday? Oh. So not only did he miss the flight, um, his luggage was left in JFK. So it got driven to our house yesterday at five o'clock. So that's a problem if you, there is medication that you take daily. Yes, that's Put smart. Put it in your luggage. Because I have one now with asthma. asthma mm -hmm. And I never, I now I have to have that, like I have an extra inhaler in my purse and everything, but I never, it just wouldn't dawn on me now to have like, yeah. It's yeah, good. it's super okay. important. That one's good. Okay, meds. And then, um, okay, what else? So I'm a huge, like, I think I've seen too many Dateline specials where I have the Clorox now. And my husband and I, we're not germaphobes. I'm probably, like, a very sloppy person. But I get in that seat, and I know how much sickness is in there. Like, I don't want to be sick when mm -hmm. we get – and we are wiping, like, the armrest. We take down all the um, trays and we wipe everything down, everything. And just because I'm like, I don't know, I'm just grossed out because I feel like you're in this incubator of like germs. And so I bring either Clorox or if it's it's too strong, then just like, you know, the the wet wipes that have a little bit of something extra in it. Not like, a, I mean, I guess you can try the baby wipes, but I just I would go full throttle. Yeah, because they even have those little travel ones of the Clorox wipes yeah. that you can get in the, the travel Clorox section. And then I take those to like a hotel. Oh my gosh, when you get to your destination, like uh, remotes and phones and all that kind of stuff. Even your own phone. Cell your phone. phone is dirtier. When I went to CES this year, mm -hmm. there were a few different manufacturers of device of like mechanics or whatever, like these things that would clean your phones because your phones have been known to be dirtier than public toilets. So. A gun and a neck rest. I think she meant gum. I think she meant gum. <laughs> Don't Wait, bring a gun. I, I showed the wrong one. Here we go. <laughs> bring a gun. You might be for your kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's awesome. Yeah, it's the neck rest thing. Oh my god, I can't tell you. I always fall asleep on the plane. That is one thing. I will take a nap. And I'm like, I'm like the car sleeper, the plane sleeper. I think I just shut down because I, I don't feel good. And right. I can't stand the, like the head bobbing when you're like, the oh, then you wake up and you're all oh, like, oh, it's oh. just so awful. Yeah, yeah. I love pillows for sure. Uh, it's, no, that, those are super, super helpful. Um, I'm always cold on the plane. Are you always cold? Yeah, after they crank it. And that's why I layer. So I'll yep. wear like a t-shirt and like black leggings. Perfect. Yeah. My sneaks, you know, and then I'll wear with the hoodie and I'll use it. Yeah, I actually use it as a little, or I'll bring a pashmina or some kind of wrap too. Oh, depending yeah. on where you're flying to. Is that where yeah. you're going? Yeah. I love that. It's a little yes. pashmina. I know. And then um, what else for the kids? Um, I Everybody gets their own backpack when we travel. And so they've all got like their, um, everybody's got their iPad, Kindle, whatever electronic piece they have. Everybody's got their own headsets. I have learned that the hard way and had to buy the $7 piece of crap headphones from the airlines, which is annoying. And I thought I packed everybody, but I didn't. Right. Um, yes, I forgot. You can pack snacks. I kind of forgot as long as they're bagged up and everything. So 
I pack snacks because some you, you just never know what's going to happen. Mm. You get stuck on a runway or something. And um, what else? Not too many games, but I will tell you, if you have a baby, you know what is the best thing to do? And you might be a little wet. That's what I'm saying. Bring the extra T-shirt is the ice. Some of those flights, the ice has got a hole in it. And we used to take a straw and we would just play with the little cup of ice. Oh. And the baby would suck on it and the baby would play like, play, you know, it's almost like water play. But yeah. you, when it's a long flight and you're sitting next to the kid who looks like he's ready to have a heart attack. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's a smart idea. I never even thought of that. You know, play with the straws, play with the sugar packets, play with the cups. Yes. Play with the wine bottles. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember, and I'm completely dating myself, when I used to fly, I mean, the, I also flew, we used to fly to Florida multiple times, and we lived up in New York, because my grandparents were down here, and they used to shocking. have, <laughs> what? I said shocking. <laughs> I know, right? I New York, my parents live in, my grandparents live in Boca, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, no, but they used to have playing cards, the, the airlines, they used to hand out decks of playing cards. Oh, yeah. Remember that? And um, I would sit in the smoking section with my mom because my mom smoked cigarettes at the time. Yeah, let's go old school. Remember when you used to get the wings from Delta? I lived in Atlanta. And yeah. so we used to get the little wings and you would get to go in the cockpit and like say hi to the pilot. Yep. Now they're like, go to your seat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't breathe. And then, yeah. Batten down. I know. It's crazy. You can't even go to the bathroom in the front anymore when the pilot goes to the bathroom in the front they like block off that front bathroom oh wow yeah. well and they're like would you like a bag of peanut they're like peanuts or pretzels peanuts or pretzels and you're like really and it's like it's like a three-hour flight and it's like this little like there's like it's three like pretzels peanut. in a bag yeah okay. there's like one peanut mm -hmm. would you like one peanut or one pretzel that's why you pack your snacks and i'm like i'll take a rum and coke <laughs> or actually jet blue actually is really good with their snacks though oh erica's kids she said they got the wings oh i love the wings that's so fun that is yeah. that is um what else i guess chargers now can you charge i feel like i was on a flight maybe southwest you could charge your phone in the back delta has um like a, a, the seats if it's like three seats in a row yeah. they have like two um outlets most of like the newer planes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Or at least bring a battery backup, like one of the, um, what do they call those? I don't know, like the chargers, the battery backups for your phone or oh, your yeah. iPad. We have those too. Yeah. I know for everybody. So you could charge mm -hmm. the iPad when they start freaking out. I feel like when I get in the sky, my, um, my laptop's like just, it just, I don't know, it starts draining because it's like searching and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you get on theirs and then you get to a certain, I never understood seeing the whole Wi-Fi thing and how that works, but. Oh, the Wi-Fi. So like with the, I call it Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. um, like on Delta, for example, you can get free Wi-Fi and it, you can stream their videos, their movies oh, cool. and their shows. Oh, cool. I feel like a, a spokesperson for Delta, but I'm actually kind of mad at them because of what Rich had to go through this weekend. But well, we charge like for every bag now. It's annoying, but um, yeah. And you know what's really hard too is I really it's like your time where you could actually watch a movie, but I can't because it depends on me. If I'm with my kids at seven and ten, it's like, oh, we're gonna watch Boss Baby again. Great. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah. Great. Yeah, I know. And then I look over and Andy's watching like some Leonardo DiCaprio movie where some guys and I was like, Oh my god. Yeah. It's crazy. Anyways, all right. Okay, so other things, uh, if it's a really long flight, I would say pack your toothbrush and toothpaste because more than likely you're going to snooze and you're going to wake up and you're going to be like, Ugh. I know. If you have the opportunity to go overseas, yeah, you don't, sometimes you don't even have a chance to do that. I remember going to London, you had to pay to use the loo. <laughs> in, the, in the airplane? In the no, when we got to the station, one of the stations, it really? was so early in the morning. Yeah, and you're just supposed to like you're supposed to keep going. You're not supposed to go to bed. You just have to keep going. I can't remember the. Oh, to get other time. Oh, you froze. 
Am I back? Yeah, it's so weird. It does that like every show and then it speeds up and it's like, it's crazy. Making sure everyone's paying attention. Yeah, your, well, your mouth off. My mouth. Oh, your mouth off <laughs> too. What? We love be live. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what okay, are your mouth we did? So we have their iPads, their electronics, their loveys, a small small yeah. stuffed animal or something, you know. Yeah, I mean, you don't want the big rattle, like noisy thing, but right. I guess like a breastfeeding cover and, yeah. you know, like the, if you have a baby, like the breastfeeding cover, you know, you have to bring a car seat. That still is intact, right? If they're not Which sitting is, on your lap and they have to be under a certain age to sit on your lap, you do need to put them in a car seat, yeah. I'll tell you, putting a, if, if they're not like a baby baby, you know, I mean, if they're like get, hitting on like one and they're active, oh my God, pay the fee and get the car seat because they're strapped in and they're locked in and then you just put the tray and then you're just, you know, you're like a crazy lobster mom for like three yeah. hours. But but haven't trying to hold on to a baby and you have another kid, don't do it. Oh my God, it's too hectic. It's too stressful. It's too stressful and oh my gosh, you know, you're that mom, you're the whole time you're worried about everybody hating you. And I'm always like, oh, I feel for her. Yeah. Or, no, I'm isn't like, it funny? Or I'm like, shut the baby up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you were told. No, but isn't it funny? No, I, I feel. I feel. I'm, I'm, if they're all the way up front of the plane, I feel for those other people, not for myself. <laughs> yeah. I feel for that mom because I know I've been there where you're just like completely stressed. I don't and know. And the worst thing is, is if you have two children, and one is smaller than the other, and the one has to go potty, and your whole and you have a baby, and you're by yourself. How about that? Try to fit them all in that the bathroom. The struggle is real, baby, but it's amazing what you can do. It's amazing. Don't ever think less of yourself, because I'm telling you, we are super parents or moms or dads. Because I'll tell you what, I had a stroller, and we probably talked about this before, that I could not open. It was one of these clicks and like release. You flip and out. I'm yeah, and I remember calling my husband and crying and bawling. I literally put it, I went to a marketplace like just to get some fresh air with the baby and I put it in the car completely open. I couldn't close it. Okay, I get the second kid, I roll on up into the, uh, you know, the uh, security and he's like, ma'am, you need to walk over here. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I've got a baby on the hip. I've got a, a little, you know, a, a three-year-old and a baby on my hip. And he's like, you have liquids. And I was like, Oh yeah, and I popped that thing open, and I had the bait. I mean, I was like, "You want some liquids? I'll give you some liquids." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I got this," and I did because I was like, "What are you can do?" <laughs> and then, of course, I got to the seat and was like, "You know," but I was like, "I got this, man!" Like, don't even ask me two years before that. I would have been like, "Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing." Oh yeah, no, because you're all nervous about everything else. Then you have to worry oh, about. <laughs> Erica's laughing. <laughs> Damn security. Don't stop us with the babies. We look like terrorists, you. Oh, geez. We're all sweaty and like <laughs> yep. huge boobs and trying to breastfeed and carrying all this crap. God, give me a break. So maybe we should leave a link to that Duna car seat and stroller that we Ooh, promoted. Yeah. That, that, was good. that was one of our shows. You'll have to watch that if you missed it. Why don't we do that in the summer? Yeah, in my backyard. Remember, mm -hmm. I, I was like, I was like, babe, we should totally get another baby. He's like, why? Because you love the stroller. I'm like, you just go so well. Yeah, you could roll that thing through the. Um, yeah, you roll it through the airport, and then you just yeah. put it in, lock it in the uh, airplane seat. Yeah, and then you roll it to the taxi, and then you lock it in the taxi. Like it was amazing. Oh yeah, you're there. You are there. Love it. We're already at eight thirty. Wow, that was fast tonight. I know. Crazy. This is um, a fun time, though. I know. It goes by so fast. Mm -hmm. All right, friends. Well, we are going to share all of our links to some of our ideas or pages to some ideas of things that we use for travel. And mm -hmm. we would love for you. Oh, gosh. We were supposed to pick a winner <gasps> of the. Um, the Derma E. Yeah, we have the winner in the pot thing here. Hold on. Blinded. I was talking so much I didn't finish my wine. Actually, that was a lot of wine. But. 
It was kind of a big glass of wine, but I, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you and your vino. Um, all right, hold on. I'm going to our little thing where we have the, um, the winners. Let's see here. So I'm running our little thing. Hold on. We put all the names in. What did we put them in? What was that thing called? Oh, um, randomizer.org. Yeah. Um, all right, we're running it, we're running it. It's running, it's running, stay tuned. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm pushing the button. Beep, 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 boop, boop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I went in, and our, our winner is Francis Carroll. Yay! He's our winner tonight. Yay! So, Francis, tell what Francis what she has to do. We'll tag her. Yes, we'll tag her, and then she wins all those awesome Derma E products to try. Yes. Amazing. So, we'll so message you. Please send you. us your mailing address. Yes. And thanks to all who commented and participated in our beauty product show. That was like a big show. We had a lot of conversation going on. Right that away. Was. Mm -hmm. It was super fun. All right, friends. Aww. It's 832. So we are going to be um, celebrity bartenders this Thursday <laughs> at Rago's Tacos. I don't know. But we're with a bunch of other philanthropy people within the community um, the president of the Boca Raton Resort, John Tolbert, and um, some other actually good friends of mine. Um, Melanie DeVito is a good friend of ours. She's the marketing director at uh, the Addison, plus their chef. And so it's a really fun crew. I mean, we're all trying to be competitive, but we're just trying to raise money for the um, Junior League of Boca Raton's Endowment Fund, which just gives back. So basically, we have sponsorships available right now, and then we're also looking at the tickets, $25, and it gets you, I think, two drinks and what, some guacamole? <laughs> you get two drinks and guac. Yes, you get two drinks, chips, guac, and salsa, and you get to see Heather and I, more than likely, I will be cracking up behind the bar, but we'll have such a great time. We get 20 to 30 minutes of fame. Yeah, it's outside, so yeah, it's like 20 minutes. It goes by really fast, but... We're hoping to raise money off tips as well, and it's just for a really good cause. The junior what are we going to wear? I don't know. We got to yeah. look at the weather, and we got to look. Yeah, we got to be moving our arms, so you know it's got to be like tank easy. I don't know. Maybe should we get like really hot tank? Oh, we should get. Oh, we should get matching t-shirts. Uh -huh. All right, we'll talk after the show. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. And I hope we hope to see you on Thursday at the Celebrity Bartending event. And then we're hoping to have a show on Friday. We're trying to juggle as real people. So we're trying to uh, get it all together. Agreed. Oh, Erica, get a babysitter. Go, girl. All right. Yes, Erica, you have to come. You have to come. We'd love to see you. You drive all down of with me. She lives close to me. You're driving down with me. Okay. I'm dragging you down. Bringing us down. All right, friends, we will see you. Um, Thursday, hopefully, and then hopefully Friday. All right. Thanks Sounds for good. tuning in. Okay. Bye.